This is photon, an alternative Couch DP admin panel. When photon starts, you see it starts from a regular design document. It requires authentication for logging in, for using photon. Login. Okay, what do we see now? Now we see our buckets list and our tasks list. We can open any bucket to see documents. We can switch to design documents list. You see here some design document information. It show views and so on. We can view local documents. There are some. We can view views for sure. It takes some time. In parallel, we can switch tabs. You see, Photon does not open new browser tab for each click, but it opens internal tab, which, by the way, survives reload. So we reload in page, and everything is in place. Both our tabs are in place. There are several buttons in the navigational panel. You see, logger is a button. Clicking logger once uh, puts us to DB list. Clicking logger twice, double click, closes all tabs. There are also several buttons at right. You see, this button is our authorization status. We can open our profile document right from here, which is missing because I am an admin and have no user document. So uh, we can open config here. You see our CouchDB config. We can navigate through nodes to see each node con config. Uh, we can change, for example, value. And you see here our changes made are shown. So we now can save our changes. We can save them to all nodes or to our current node only. Let's save to all nodes. Okay, config changed. So we can edit config uh, both like tree or like JSON object. So also branches which we expanded are minimized, so you can reload tab and have all those branches again expanded because they were minimized in local storage. And the rightmost button in the navbar is uh, photon configuration. So clicking it, we have some photon params. Also, here we have some information about our CouchDB, about photon and its build, and so on. And here is a very important button, check for updates. Updates are taken from this URL, so we can now check for updates. Let's do it. Okay, we have one, so we can now update. And now we have to reload. That is all. Now we have build 15. Build 15 has new interesting feature. It has info about every, every config key. And it has links to official documentation. We can open it and see compressible types, blah, blah, blah. So what we can do here, here we have some also logs. Some of them are, some of them are gray, some of them are red. Clicking this log opens access control panel so we can secure our DBs, for example. And we might want to secure this. We set security object, you see, here we are. Let's make it public again. Uh, also, we see here stars. We can use stars to put our databases to the top of the list. Moreover, they stay on the top of the list, whatever direction we chose. Here are some obvious buttons like new DB. We can create it here, some ABCDF, for example. We can create several DBs at a time, B, C, D, F, G. We are now creating two DBs. We can define uh, how many shards, Q per M, and for example, one shard, and three data copies. And we can define administrators and members. Let's make them unpublic, create DBs. Okay, now we have two more DBs. We can, for example, select several DBs and compact them all in turn. We can delete them also in turn and so on. Also, we can backup them. 
So when nothing is selected, we create a sync, a single sync task. But when we have several databases selected, we can back up them. So we can replicate all of those DBs to some other target node. We can add uh, prefix. You see, for example, a1. Th this will make a1 tier zz, a1 tier zz y, and so on. DBs on the target node if we define. Also, during replication, we can drop deleted docs and drop design docs. Uh, this is made uh, using for sure design uh, design doc, which is created automatically. Also, which is important, we can create two-way uh, jobs which means we can replicate to and back. We can make replications uh, both like tasks and, and like uh, replicated DB database docs. So cancel it and select. Uh, so clicking uh, whatever, whatever task we have, we go to the appropriate document in our replicated database, which is, you see here, so checking this doc and clicking restart, we can restart our job and so on, unselected. If we had compactions, we could see some compactions here. Also, uh, replication tasks are separated into groups uh, by domain or, for example, uh, by this particular parameter. So each group is contractible and uh, expansion contraction is also remembered and survives page reload and so on. Let's select for example this thing here. We now open it. We for sure can we should wait a little. You see we can for example group our reduction and we can view code. You see here is our code. This is pretty straightforward however it could be much more complex. We should wait a little. You see, we have our JavaScript code. We can, for example, change it a little, and now we can save it and run, or save as another MapReduce view, and so on. We can view Manga indexes with their source code, which is important. You see, here we are. We can open a new case, and so on. Let's see what we can do with documents by themselves. Let's open Photon Design document. We now have a JSON tree. We can open branches. You see, we can both open them in a tree or like plain JSON and edit right here. So we can for sure attach files. You see, like for example, this three in the turn, we can edit the path. So you see, now we attached files, we see them as new, they are not yet saved, and we actually won't save them. We load our doc. What more? Here we have several revisions. You see, this particular revision is conflict in revision, we can also edit it. And what is more interesting, we can see a diff. We can click diff and see difference between 932 and latest revision. You see, there are some actual. So, closing it back to latest revision. For text attachments, we can edit attachments. So, we can edit an attachment in built in editor, make some changes, and save. Then, save. You see, we have for sure some kind of search it shows us you see affected lines and so on also by the way we have search in json so we can type uh, css here and you see we, we only see attachments which have css in their file name or we can for example write this branch and this branch. So closing it. What I have, what have I forgotten? Uh, this, this, this. Manga queries for sure. Now what is interesting about Manga queries? Uh, let's type here. Oh, yes, something changed. 
uh, we can actually save this query. This query will be saved to local storage and it can be then reused. So you see our query survived page reload. This is not stored in CouchDB, it's stored uh, in this particular browser local storage. This feature is very absent in standard admin panel. So MapReduce, we've already seen MapReduce, some editors and so on. We can define for sure a start key, so we can click here and start from this key. Uh, we can change number of shown rows, or more or less official small is standard. So uh, config I've already shown also. So this is a uh, stats for sure stats. Stats button you see it pings uh, stats endpoint for each node in a cluster and collects data about capacity and load. You see there are not so much params however this shows all those nitty-gritty stuff about nodes which might be very important. So if you, for example, uh, reload dbs, you see stats will show us, should, should show us kind of spike. You see, we see this spike. This data also survives page reload, you see. So some params here are oh, interesting param. Uh, we can upload custom icon. So let's do it open. Oops. Okay, now you see. Now our browser tab has new icon. It might be very useful if you admin several CouchDB nodes. You can set up different icons for them and distinguish them quickly in the browser tab panel. So this is basically Photon, 